Good morning, I'm Michael from Mo Monster Gaming, and if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. So today I'm opening an absolutely massive haul of Fortnite figures that I've picked up from Amazon, including this little Fortnite arcade here. So there's the arcade, I'll do that one in a minute. I have Fun Cops and Red Links, and then I have Menace Undefeated and Jewels and Ob. So I'm gonna start with Fun Cops, I think, so. So looking at the packaging, got a cool little picture at the front, like a little glass window showing you what they look like. Here's their equipment, this big, big bashing ball, boom box and a grenade. And then here on the back, we have a little picture of them all. So cutting it open. Okay, so here they are out of their packaging. So first of all, the articulation is a little bit stiff as I sometimes find with the Marvel Legends but really really like these cool sunglasses they are a separate part but they don't look like they will come off uh, anytime soon we've got double jointed elbow double jointed elbows arms twist got separate separate disco belt here let's move those in i like this disco-y watch and then i really like how the pattern on the boots match the pattern on the grenade i think that's very very cool but it does have a couple of little paint marks but actually all in all very very good now I think this is very, very cool. It's very, very solid, very good for bashing. And then here is the boom box, actually, backpack. There we go. Plastic doesn't feel as good as it normally does on those back on this backpack. So there we go, there's Funk Ops. I suppose my only complaint would be that they didn't come with a ranged weapon. But let's, or also, how well will they stand while holding this? There we go, okay, so that's quite good. But we'll remedy that now and we'll open this little arcade collection here. So opening it up, oh, a bit stiff. Oh no, ripped it. There we go. So hopefully this will just drop out. So stickers feel a bit cheap and the plastic feels a bit cheap as well. But the main reason I picked this up is because I actually want it for weapon storage. I'm storing most of my weapons in the Fortnite Shark and actually I'm running out of room. But let's see, how does this clip open? Oh, that's easy. And look, then we can use it as a weapon rack, which is what I wanted to do it for. So let's clip that on there. So actually that make a nice arcade cabinet for my display shelf. And then three weapons. So I've already got this. Um, I want to say it came with Metal Face, maybe. So I'm pretty sure I've already got that. And then I think I've got this already came with, I want to say Sky and Ollie. Um, this one looks a little bit different, I think. And then obviously the grenade, which I've just got with him anyway. But the idea was I wanted somewhere to store it all. How nicely does it do it? Oh, there you go, that's all right. Not sure that one's going to go on it though. Maybe like that. Ah, there we go. Actually, that's not too bad. <laughs> so this is Lynx. This is the red version. There's already a black version. Comes with a couple of rifles and then a futuristic looking scythe. Having a quick look at the back. There they are posed. Hopefully I can get them to pose as nicely as that, opening them up. So 
there they are in the packet. Okay, so here is Red Lynx. Like this cat-like mask. Now, I don't know how well you can see, but there's tiny, tiny little square print on the on the front of the mask, which is quite nice. I like the bit of hair at the back. So double jointed elbows, which is always useful for getting them into poses. Uh, arms move quite quite nicely in this socket. I do like how the shoulder pad is like a separate piece, allowing the arms to move nicely underneath. So I also like how at the top of the kind of leg, we've got these almost like a high boot bit, but it's not a boot bit, but we've got this little extra bit of detail here, which is quite nice. And I must say, I really, really like the toes on this one. So I do like how all the Fortnite, while they kind of change, they reuse the same characters, but with different skins. So you have red links and you have black links. I do like the amount of detail that is put into the figures individually before they go into changing their skins. Legs go very, very nicely like that. So it's going to be really easy to pose. And I do like the tail. Very, very good. Not sure whether tail up or tail down. But having a quick look at the... Let's just pose. There we go. Quick look at the weapons. So I know these colours match Lynx's mask, but they do feel very Nerf gun red. But still, more weapons is always nice. But I like this. I think this futuristic scythe looks very, very cool, which I think is what I will pose them with. So, pop them on there. And then I think they'll pose very, very nicely on the shelf. This is a much, much bigger one. This is one of the more deluxe ones. This is Menace Undefeated. Comes with an absolute arsenal of equipment. So we've got this weapons rack, we've got Morning Stars, Daggers, Spear, Alternate Head and Shield Backpack. So quick look at them there, just like absolutely menacing like that. Not sure about the normal head though, but we will see. So let's pop this one open. Okay, lots of bits to it, and it looks like I'm going to have to make this very similar to when I had to make Man Cakes Cannon. Also looks like it's the same sort of plastic as Man Cakes Cannon. So my first impression is Menace is really, really heavy. Much heavier than any of the other Fortnite figures. And I really like all the extra detail that has gone into this more deluxe figure. I really like the Medusa that is on the chest piece. It actually is a little bit loose, so it enables you can have some articulation moving forward and backwards around the waist, which is good. If it was a solid piece, you wouldn't be able to do that. But then right onto the collar, the furry collar with the little skulls on the shoulder pad bits. But I like how it's, a, again, a separate piece so these shoulder pads with their tassels, which sit very nicely on top of the shoulders, allowing for proper real movement. Now, I'm, I'm not a particularly big Menace fan. I never played them during the, I want to say the Bounty Hunter season, but it's, it's not one of my favourite skins. But actually the detail into this is excellent. And we just have a quick look at the head. I like obviously we've got a scar line in the hair but we've actually got scars down the side of Menace's face which I'd never noticed before. I think that's excellent and, and a good opportunity for some kit bashing especially because I will probably 
use this helmet, this head instead. Mind you, I could always have them holding the helmet, I suppose. Um, I kind of like this. This is rubberized. This is very nice. And the detail of the print there is very, very good on the, on the skin. And then really like these knee pads. I mean, it does look a bit like a Sigma, right? In places, but yeah, it's very, very cool. Very, very cool. And then here we have a scabbard on the side, which I'll put this in first. Little dagger goes in like so. Now, I like this. So this shield, uh, these pieces don't actually come out. Though no, you could if you forced them, I don't know why you would. But it's very, very cool, this shield bit for the backpack. And then you just have to line the holes up here. <clears throat> there we go, very cool. Very cool, now I am. I do like this head more, I think. So I am gonna swap that out. There we go. Yeah, absolutely possessed. Looks excellent. Now I like the spear, but actually, I think I'm gonna display them with these two morning stars. Now, I like the fact that the pair of them are actually different because it would have been very easy just to use the same piece of plastic twice, but they've actually made it different. So I'll put one in one hand. One in one hand. Then one in the other. Okay, now having done that, they look really, really small against Menace's massive bulk. So I'm not actually sure they're the right choice to show off Menace's size. They just look tiny. I think even the spear looks quite tiny compared to them. Let's put Menace there. And then now I'll put this together. Okay, so not a lot to that. I don't actually think it really does anything. I thought they'd be, I think the arcade, I think clipping them on the back of the arcade machines better, but not even sure they're gonna sit too good. Okay, well, it's a piece of scenery anyway. So final one I'm going to open is Jules and Om, which is this robot here. Looks very, very cool. Really, really like the art on the front. Really like the owl. And then on the back, there's Jules and Om, but actually comes with lots of accessories. And this is another deluxe one, while not as large as the Menace Deluxe here, but actually I think this one is gonna be the real win because just looking at the box alone, I think the detail looks fantastic. So let's open it up, slightly different inside to all the other ones I've opened. Okay, so the amount of accessories you get is so much better than Menace did. So this is absolutely brilliant as a Deluxe set. You get so many pieces, including two of the om owl but I'll, I'll 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 get to that in a minute so just having a quick look i mean the wingspan is going to be fantastic when posed with it i think it looks really really good so i'll look at jewels first and again just like the other figures the details are brilliant on here so starting at the head we've got these really cool funky goggles on the top and then earring, nose ring, freckles, the paint detail is probably the best on this one out of all of them. Now, I love the t-shirt, but what I like is the t-shirt's actually a separate molded piece of rubber. 
uh, and I really like the little tassely bit here. So the fact that it's its whole own piece is absolutely brilliant. I mean, that's just so much extra detail. It, it could have just been a piece of plastic, but it even has like a fabric -y, it's not fabric, it's rubber, but it has like a fabric -y sort of effect feel on it. It's really, really good. Now, I love the tattoos down the neck, but just so you can see, tattoos go across the belly as well, like they should, and unfortunately not round the ankles, but I'll get to the feet in a minute. Now, I really like this mechanics belt. The This here, though, has got a tiny little paint rub, so I can't tell whether it's supposed to be like that or whether a little bit of it is misprinted, but... If it is misprinted, it just looks like a bit of wear and tear like they would have because of the, like, how old the belt is. I like the spanner in the side. Knees are good. Double jointed elbows, always good. Nice glove pieces here. I feel like you can get them into all sorts of, you can have a plan with the goggles. Really, really cool. But I like the mud stains on the boots and I like how the two legs are different. This one's got the cuff down the bottom. This one hasn't. And the boots are quite cool too. So absolutely excellent. It's out of all of them, out of the four figures today, even though this one's like an absolute bulky winner, I really, really like this one. I mean, the plaits, it's so much detail. Now, they come with so many accessories. So this is the first one that I'll look at. And this is the backpack. Looks a bit like a battery. And it has this hoop around here. And I know that you can put this bird, you can put Om on the hoop. Now, looking at Om, you've got articulate head, turns around, the wings move. And judging by it, they should move oh that one doesn't want to turn but the wings move as well there you go i like this one now does it detach no it doesn't but actually this one you can put with full wings out there we go so absolutely huge wingspan and yeah, so we can have wings in, wings out. That's very, very cool. So there's their melee weapon. And then this, I'm going to say, slots in like so. So you can have them perched on top of the melee weapon, on top of the giant wrench. Or you can just have the giant wrench as it is without because they're provided two separate pieces. I think that's very, very cool. And actually just looking at the wrench, the detail and the shape alone is very, very good. So I really think that's a very cool, very massive weapon. Now back to the owls. The detail on them is very, very good, right down to the clockwork eyes, very reminiscent of Clash of the Titans. It's just a shame you couldn't detach this one. But there's the back of them. Very, very good. And then they also come with this helmet piece, which is quite good. I assume that's going to fit over quite easily. Yeah, it does. Fits over very, very easily. Then we have these two wrenches and the detail on these are very, very good. So it fits nicely in one hand. Now perching this on the back, it's quite high. Oh no, it goes down, it goes down low. There we go. And then sits in very, very nicely, like so. So I quite like that, I think that's very, very cool. What I don't get is what these are for. 
this clip here, it's to go in the in the glider, so you can actually have own gliding. And there we go. That clips in there like that. So actually, you can have Jules gliding down with own. There they are. Now they're fantastic. Now, unfortunately, while handling the rubber, the print has just come off on there, which is a real, real shame. And apparently it is a design flaw having just caught it, um, which is a real, real shame because it was a really nice T-shirt. But I'll leave the rest on rather than rubbing it straight off. But there they are. I think they're really, really good and they look absolutely excellent. So there they all are. A big, massive Fortnite unboxing. Thank you very much for looking. I do think this one here is my favourite, but they are all very, very good. Thank you very much. Take care. Ugh. <sighs>